Luke, Luke, is the Mac Pro still good in 2023 video? We got to talk about this because there's so many things that are dated about the information he's giving out. And I just want to set the record straight. I like Luke. He's got 444,000 subscribers, but <coughs> sorry, I'm fighting a cold. I know I look like hell, but I just had to make this video. People need to get the right information on the Mac Pro 5.1 in 2023. And what he is putting out there is not the right information, or at least it's old information. He is not up to date on the latest things you can do with your Mac Pro 5.1. So let's get to tearing apart his video. There is no escape. Don't make me destroy you. And telling you guys what you can do with the Mac Pro 5.1 in 2023. I've got macOS Catalina Patcher here by DOS Dude one We're gonna hopefully get this thing installed with Catalina. Okay, the first thing I wanna talk about is Luke mentions using DOS Dude ones Patcher to install Catalina. That was something we did like four years ago. Everybody since then has been using OpenCore and it's well documented. There's tons of videos about OpenCore. I don't know why Luke doesn't mention it in this video, but you can run Monterey or even Ventura with OpenCore Legacy Patcher. I use Martin Lowe's OpenCore package and I run Monterey and it's great. If you wanna to go to Ventura, it's a little more risky because the Mac Pro CPUs are not made for that operating system. There's a lot of hacking going on to get it to work, but people say they've had you know good luck with it. Because I'm using a regular RX 580, we're not gonna have the boot screen. You get a boot screen when you install OpenCore. So he's talking about DOS Dude's patcher and the fact that you don't get a boot screen. So you can get special graphics cards that have been flashed with Apple firmware and that will allow you to start it up and have the regular boot screen, the boot switcher if you have multiple installations and that sort of thing. Well, if you use OpenCore, you get a boot screen with a RX 580. And the other benefit is you get to have hardware acceleration for your GPU, which offloads more of the work to your GPU. And without OpenCore, you do not get that. So with the OpenCore, an RX 580 will get a boot screen and it'll get hardware acceleration which means faster render times, export speeds, as the GPU is now doing most of the work compared to using the CPU, which would be doing it at a much slower speed. You can now install a modern GPU and get a boot screen when you have OpenCore installed. And as of January 2023, there's also a new thing that came out called Enable GOP. And this allows you to flash your Mac Pro's boot ROM so you get the actual legit boot screen and you can have any compatible graphics card in your Mac Pro. If you do wanna use a super powerful card, you have to be careful because you can use an adapter like this and it'll basically just overload the logic board and you can actually cause a lot of damage. You can do a thing called the Pixlist mod and it's not for the light of heart. You really gotta go in there and do some surgery on your power supply. So some people might not be into that, but I did it a year ago and I'm running an RX 6800 XT. My GPU, not only will it crush a modern day Mac, it will crush, crush Luke's 580. The 580 is a really old card, and yes, you can buy them cheap and used, but do you want to buy a used GPU? I wouldn't recommend it. You don't know what's been done with that GPU. It could have been mining Bitcoin for three years and is running super hot. You can also just install an RX 6600. They're very cheap. You can flash it to work in the Mac Pro with Syncrotex Patcher. It's a low power GPU, so it works on the internal power. No Pixlist mod needed. And it will crush the 580. He should have called the video how to build a super cheap Mac Pro in 2023. And the lower quote, is the cheese grater Mac Pro still viable in 2023? Well, no. Come on, Luke. You got to give this thing a fighting chance. If you're going to make comparisons with an M2 MacBook Air. He didn't upgrade the CPU, which you can get for dirt cheap on eBay. And he didn't install the firmware update, which turns it from a 4,1 to a 5,1, which then allows you to put in the new CPU and faster RAM. Not to mention you can install a huge amount of RAM in these computers, especially if you have a dual processor. So there you have it, 3,929 points on our 14-year-old Mac Pro system. And granted, mine is a dual CPU, 
so I've got 12 cores, he's only got six, but if you upgraded that processor, you would be getting a better Cinebench score. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying my Mac Pro is gonna blow away a Mac Studio or an M2 MacBook Air, but once you do all the updates, it is still a viable machine in 2023. It also doesn't mention that you can install a new Bluetooth Wi-Fi card and then you will be able to get handoff and airdrop and those capabilities. The first thing I want to do is see how fast this free SSD is. Okay, 256 megabytes per second right and about the same on the read speed. So this is a great reason why you shouldn't spend a ton of money on a SATA SSD. He also doesn't mention that you can install the SATA SSD in a PCIe card and get double the performance that he's getting in the built-in SATA 2 bays. Or you can install an M2 card and put an NVMe in there and you're going to get 1500 megabytes per second read and write. But you can also get a more expensive card and then you will be able to get up to 3000 megabytes per second read and write. Or you can create a RAID 0 with one of these cards with two NVMEs and get up to 5,000 megabytes per second read and write in a Mac Pro 5.1. You are beaten. It is useless to resist. Join me and I will complete your training. Okay, thanks for watching. And if you want to see the ultimate Mac Pro 5.1 in the year 2023 video, let me know. And I just added this beautiful... OLED running at 120 hertz. That's right, Luke. 120. I am your father. Join me, and together we can rule the galaxy as father and son. And I'll see you in the next Max Sound Solutions video.